ignore the naysayers. I think it is natural that when you have a big vision and big dreams and you have big goals that people are going to say around you, I don't think it can be done. I think it's impossible or no. I tell you, I heard this all the time, but I want to tell you, don't ever let them stop you from dreaming and from shooting for the big goal. Because eliminate just simply those words, no, impossible, and it can't be done. I heard it's possible. When someone said it can't be done, I heard it can be done. And that's exactly what it is. And I wanted to be that one that does it. I wanted to break the new records. And I wanted to do something that no one else has ever done. So I think that's what you need to do. Don't ever be worried about that someone hasn't done it. I mean, it started right away when I was 15 years old and I became a bodybuilder. Right after that happened, I said, I want to be a world champion in bodybuilding. I want to be Mr. Universe. They immediately said, are you crazy? You're in Austria. In Austria, you can become a ski champion or a bicycle champion or something like that. But bodybuilding is an American sport. Forget about it. It's nuts. Then when I wanted to move to America, they said, again, it's impossible. You will never be able to do that. You have no money. You're all by yourself. Imagine that. Everywhere I turned, they said, no, it won't happen. It's not going to happen. And forget about it. Luckily, I did not listen. I did not listen because I knew if I worked hard enough and if I worked as hard as I did in bodybuilding, five, six hours a day, that I would make it, that I could prove them wrong. Just think about how many times my career would have stopped, my career would have ended if I would have listened to the naysayers. If I'm ready mentally for it, then I'm ready. I'm working out in the gym five hours a day, you know, I never felt sorry for myself. Let me tell you, it all paid off. Be up there on that stage and to lift the trophy overhead and to win the championship over and over and over again. So that was a great goal. You have to have a goal. Now it doesn't have to be that specific goal, but it has to have some goal. Instead of thinking about why do you want to work out? What is your goal? And then it can't be as crazy as this. You know, I want to impress girls. If that's your goal, so be it. But it motivates you. Could be that you're emulating a certain, you know, bodybuilder or a certain football player, a certain boxer, whatever it is. It is the most extraordinary character I've ever met in my life. He's done it in three different incredibly difficult fields. Most well, three most difficult fields in the world. And he's gone to the pinnacle of all of them. And what is what he's done here is spreading the wealth and giving his knowledge and opening up his heart to the young people because they are the future. And believe me, you couldn't have a better man shepherd, being a shepherd for you all to show you how to go through it because he's been through it. The bottom line is, everyone can use the same method because I used it in everything that I've done in the movie business. When you have one little victory, it built me up. It was a little thing like that that gave me the confidence and then to just stay hungry and pumping iron. And from one little thing to the next, it's adding up little victories. Add up and that is what gives you then ultimately confidence. I'm a strong believer of, of conquering, of achieving, of climbing, of uh, getting higher and higher to the top and all those things. Because that's, in my opinion, what life is all about. It's living rich rather than just existing and just wasting away your, your life since we only have one. You know?